set yourselves up for a limitless calamity of outstanding extents. Beneath the purple Goliath, Celeb adjusted on the fringe of our framework is passing on grim messages through the universe. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have determined something basically unsettling about this significant, tremendous body. As astrophysicist Brian Cox offers a grave admission, the query looms. Could we say we are on the slope of seeing an unlucky grandiose blast impact that might everlastingly change the night sky? To the extent that we can be involved, we should dive into the remarkable woven artwork of the universe where stars are considered live and pass on in lovely plans. One megastar has genuinely gotten the imaginative psyche and strain of cosmologists and the public alike. This well-known star is a red giant of massive extents and age, organized conspicuously within the impressive body. Its unquestionable bronzed color and complexity have, for quite a while, been a wellspring of interest. Recent improvements have reinforced hobby in this grand beast as we discover the possibility of an impending wonderful occasion. In the present instance of this star, regardless of what these actions may imply, we might be on the cusp of seeing an endless display of implausible scale. More than our sun, it is a heavenly behemoth. Its full large size is nearly beyond human capability to grasp. Imagine a star so big that if it were to displace our sun, its surface would extend past the orbit of Mars, overpowering Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its sublime embrace. This isn't just an extraordinary display of the star's true traits, but also addresses its stage in the radiant life cycle. As a red supergiant, it is in the twilight of its existence, a stage depicted by expansion and cooling following a lifetime spent merging hydrogen into helium in its core. However, what about the age of this megastar? Estimated to be around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years old, it is relatively young in human terms but old concerning stellar lifetimes. It is in the red giant stage, a result of millions of years of stellar evolution, marked by profound changes and cycles that have transformed it from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. The present instance of stars, as is this one, a tale of development driven by the steady forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. Its unquestionable ruddy color is another indication of its continuous stage. The red tone is a result of its somewhat cooler surface temperature compared to other stars like our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 K, this star's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature gives the star a red appearance, but this tone is not just a visual feature. It provides snippets of information about the star's condition and the cycles taking place within. Adding to the star's character is its variable nature. Ancient Roman and Chinese works suggested that about a millennium ago, it turned yellow. It was in the 9th century that Arabic astronomers first described it as red. This color shift over human history is not only a detail in the annals of cosmology but a clue to the star's significant changes. The variable brightness of this star is another captivating aspect. It is a semi-regular variable star, meaning its light periodically varies. This variability is a cosmic dance of radiance that has intrigued stargazers and sky watchers for centuries. Typically, the star undergoes a multi-day cycle along with a longer cycle that stretches about five years. These cycles were recorded as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and likely even earlier in local oral traditions. What makes this star enigmatic is not just its changing brightness but its unpredictability. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, it sporadically deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening demonstrating unpredictable and less understood processes occurring within its structure. Recent revelations have captured the attention of cosmologists and stargazers globally with a daunting and intriguing change in its appearance. An event known as the Great Dimming occurred in late 2019 when the red supergiant, one of the most notable stars in the night sky, began to dim inexplicably. The star's dimming was so pronounced that it started losing its glow at a significant rate reaching its lowest brightness in February 2020. Normally visible to the naked eye, even in light-polluted areas, the star became noticeably fainter, a change discernible even to amateur observers. However, there is one challenge with attempting to understand the events of this star. The time oddity. When we observe a star like this, 
We are not seeing it as it exists in the present but as it was in the past due to the time it takes for light to travel to us. In this star's case, at about 725 light years away, the light we see today left the star nearly seven centuries ago. This delay makes it challenging to predict and explain sudden changes in a star's behavior, as we are essentially looking into its past. The great dimming event served as an illustration of the inherent difficulties of astronomical observations and the limitations of our perception when dealing with vast cosmic scales and the time oddities they present. This was firmly observed by Andrea Dupree, director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team. They utilized Hubble to analyze the star as part of a three-year study to examine variations in its outer atmosphere. These observations provided exceptional insights into the dynamics of a variable star like this one, which regularly expands and contracts, causing changes in brightness. Hubble's sensitivity to light allowed the researchers to examine the layers above the star's surface, which were heated primarily by the star's wild convection cells. Further analysis of the Hubble spectra, taken at specific points during 2019 and 2020, revealed the movement of material in the star's outer environment particularly the spectra focused on magnesium lines, which are normal for stellar environments. These observations showed material moving at speeds of around 200,000 miles per hour from the star's surface into its outer atmosphere. This hot, dense material eventually extended millions of miles from the star and formed a cloud that caused the star's dimming. Dupree and her team estimated that twice the normal amount of material from the star's southern hemisphere was lost over the three months of the outburst. This mass loss was significant, especially since, like all stars, this one continuously loses mass but at a much higher rate than our sun. The scale of this mass ejection and the resulting dimming spark discussions among cosmologists about whether this event could be a precursor to a massive explosion. The proximity of the star, about 725 light years from Earth, adds to the intrigue, as such an explosion would be visible from Earth and provide a unique opportunity to witness a cosmic event up close. However, this has yet to be addressed definitively. What does this dimming event mean for the star's future? Is it a sign of an impending supernova, or simply a peculiar episode in the star's long and complex life? Several theories have been proposed to explain this startling change. One prominent theory suggested a phase in the supernova process, a hypothesis that gained some traction due to the widespread belief that the star is nearing the end of its life. Another significant theory involved dust, possibly from the star itself. Like other red supergiants, it is thought to shed material, and it was believed that this material could form a dust cloud thick enough to block the star's light from our perspective. A third explanation considered changes in the star's photosphere, the visible outer layer, which could affect its apparent brightness. Further analysis using different observational techniques helped unravel this mystery. Spectroscopic tests indicated a drop in the star's effective temperature, suggesting that the dimming could be due to a faint spot on the star's surface. This theory was supported by observations that the star's temperature decreased by about 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming, highlighting significant changes on its surface. Ultimately, the key to understanding this cosmic phenomenon came from Hubble. Hubble's observations revealed that the dimming of the star was likely caused by a massive ejection of hot material into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, significantly reducing the amount of light reaching us. The dust cloud was said to have originated from a specially hot plasma ejected from a large convection cell on the star's surface, which traveled through its hot atmosphere to the cooler outer layers. As it cooled, it formed dust grains creating a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic observations, which began in January 2019, were crucial in identifying the sequence of events leading up to the star's dimming. These observations provided evidence of dense, heated material moving through the star's atmosphere in the months leading up to the dimming. In December 2019, several ground-based telescopes also observed the star dimming in brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. This material, initially more substantial than the star's typical emissions, ultimately caused the formation of a foreboding shadow as it moved outward and cooled. The hypothesis was that this ejected material and the resulting shadow caused the star's sudden dimming. The magnitude of the ejection is indeed extraordinary, putting the star into a significant spotlight. 
the star expelled an estimated 100 billion times the mass normally ejected in a typical stellar outburst. This mass ejection, noted to be multiple times the mass of our moon, was a significant event for the star and for how we interpret stellar mechanics. However, how could such a large ejection of material affect the star and supernova theories at large? The implications for supernova theories are critical, as current understanding posits that red supergiants like this star lose mass at a relatively predictable rate before the explosive end of their lives. Not enduring the scale of the ejection complicates this belief, suggesting a more turbulent and perhaps unpredictable end-of-life stage for these stars. Could this star be nearing the edge of a supernova? The question presents a potential risk within the cosmic proximity. While the timing of such an event remains uncertain, the recent mass ejection has certainly shifted the conversation, indicating a more imminent end than previously thought. Theories now grapple with the implications of such significant mass loss and how it affects the star's stability and future. But as the cosmic community eagerly watches the star, another significant event captures our attention and offers a close-up look at a supernova, SN2023 ISF. This supernova occurred in the galaxy known colloquially as the Pinwheel Galaxy, located about 21 million light-years away. Observed in May 2023, SN2023 ISF serves as an example of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe, where stars live out their lives in a spectacular cycle of creation and annihilation. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, this star remains a valuable source of discovery, providing insights into the inner workings of stars and the forces that shape our cosmic landscape. The future of the red supergiant. As we delve deeper into the recent events and characteristics of this red supergiant, we must consider the potential future scenarios. The star's massive ejection of material and the subsequent dimming have provided valuable data that could reshape our understanding of the final stages of stellar evolution. Potential supernova. One of the most intriguing possibilities is that this star could be nearing the end of its life, culminating in a spectacular supernova. A supernova is an astronomical event that occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star's life, marked by one final, titanic explosion. Such an explosion would outshine an entire galaxy for a short period, releasing tremendous amounts of energy and contributing to the enrichment of the interstellar medium with heavy elements. The recent mass ejection observed could be a precursor to this catastrophic event. In the life of a massive star, the supernova stage follows the exhaustion of nuclear fuel in its core. The core collapses under its own gravity, and if the star is massive enough, this collapse triggers a supernova explosion. The material ejected during this event enriches the surrounding space with elements that form new stars and planets. Stellar dynamics and instability. The observed irregularities in the star's behavior, such as the great dimming, indicate significant instability. This instability can be attributed to the complex processes occurring in the star's interior and its outer layers. As the star nears the end of its life, its core becomes increasingly unstable, leading to convective currents and the ejection of material. These convective currents are driven by the intense fusion reactions occurring in the star's core. When hydrogen fuel in the core is depleted, the star begins fusing heavier elements in shells around the core. This shell burning creates turbulent convection currents, which can lead to the ejection of material. These ejections, in turn, form dust clouds that can obscure our view of the star, causing the observed dimming. Astrophysical Significance The ongoing study of this red supergiant holds significant astrophysical importance. By observing the changes in this star, Astronomers can gain insights into the final stages of stellar evolution and the processes leading up to a supernova. Understanding these processes is crucial for building accurate models of stellar life cycles and predicting the behavior of other massive stars in the universe. Observational technique. Modern observational techniques have been pivotal in uncovering the mysteries of this star. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Hubble Space Telescope have provided high-resolution data that allow astronomers to study the star's atmosphere, surface temperature, and material ejection in unprecedented detail. Ground-based telescopes have complemented these observations, offering a broader view of the star's variability over time. Implications for Stellar Models 
The data collected from the observations of this red supergiant are already influencing stellar models. Traditional models of red supergiants and their life cycles are being reevaluated in light of the new findings. The unexpected mass ejection and the star's dramatic dimming suggest that these stars may undergo more erratic and violent changes than previously thought. Broader impact. The potential supernova of this star also has broader implications for our understanding of the universe. Supernovae play a crucial role in the cosmic cycle of matter. They are responsible for creating and dispersing elements heavier than iron, which are essential for the formation of planets and life. By studying this star, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnected processes that shape our universe. Conclusion The red supergiant at the heart of this study continues to captivate astronomers and the public alike. Its recent behavior has provided a wealth of information that challenges existing theories and opens new avenues for research. Whether this star will end its life in a spectacular supernova remains to be seen, but its story is far from over. As we look to the future, continued observations and advancements in technology will undoubtedly reveal more about this enigmatic star and its place in the cosmic tapestry. For now, we can only watch and wait, hoping to witness one of the universe's most dramatic and awe-inspiring events, the death of a star and the birth of a new era in our understanding of the cosmos.